guys welcome back to my channel so as you know today is clinical day i'm kind of nervous because i'm not used to touching people i yes i work in emergency department but i'm not used to putting hands on people um i'm very good at doing psychosocial assessments talking with people getting to know them building a quick rapport however touching people is not my strong suit because then i get nervous if they're like you're a student what are you doing blah, blah, blah. i'm like I don't know <laughs> but it's gonna be fine that's what practice is for it makes a perfect nurse um well not a perfect nurse but it makes a good nurse um and the more i keep practicing obviously the better i'll get and the more comfortable and confident i'll get as well so i'm gonna do my hair since i'm already here in the car um and then that's what i'll once i'm done that's when i'll start studying um, i don't wear makeup to clinicals typically um because we have to wear obviously a mask and it just gets grody and i'm not really here to impress people i'm here to do what I need to do, um, and, yeah, but, does anybody else, like, rush out of the house, like, super early or right on time, and then do their hair or makeup in the car? Like I said, typically I don't wear makeup to clinicals, um, because I'm more focused on, like, doing the right thing and studying. I mean, yes, makeup makes me feel a little more better, um, sometimes, but. I don't want a dirty mask and, I don't know. I don't want, I don't know. Sometimes I do, I guess. We have to get COVID tested every week um, for clinicals. And I also have to get COVID tested every week for my job. And it has to be two different tests in two different places. Which is kind of obnoxious because I don't really like driving around for a bunch of things. Um, but whatever. Better safe than sorry. Um, I am a little stuffy. However, it's just a cold. Guys, don't forget. People do still get colds. Um, <laughs> but I am COVID negative. I'm going to wear my N95. They said I could still come to clinical with a little um, stuffy nose. Um, but yeah. Like I said, leave a comment down below if anybody else, like, rushes out of the house looking like who shot John and then just gets their stuff together while driving. Because um, I do this all the time. Even when I go into work, I'm like, ah, I have 15 minutes. Let me just do my hair in the car when I'm there. Blah, blah, blah. I can stop to get coffee or food or do what I want on the way there. If there's traffic, I don't feel like I'm in a super big rush to get there. Or like, oh my gosh, what happens if I'm five minutes late? Um... I keep a brush and like this giganto thing of gel in my car because you know like I said I gotta get myself together I'm gonna be professional looking and not be like where did you just crawl out of bed from and sometimes yes I did just crawl out of bed just kidding that's why I want to be focused comfortable confident If anybody else is in nursing school, do you guys have any tips for studying or like how you retain your dosage card calculations? I'm doing fine in it, um, but I'm not confident in it, if that makes sense. Like I double check everything, well, triple check, <laughs> quadruple check, um, everything. And this is, I'm not even talking about when I'm dispensing it to patients, I'm just talking about like in general, um. Just like reading over the questions, like in my Dosha's calc book or anything like that. I'm just like, is this the right answer? Oh my gosh, what happens if this is the wrong answer? Because um, if you get a dosage thing wrong, obviously that's, that could be detrimental to a patient. Um, and I'm very mindful of that. And they remind us that all the time, as well. Um, but I don't know. I just, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist either. I just, I don't know. I guess mistakes happen. Um, but like I said, I'm doing fine in it. So. Also, let me guys know what kind of videos you want. Do you want me like talking through them? Do you want just music? Do you want both? Like vlogs type stuff? Um, just let me know. I also keep like 
headbands on deck with my car just because you never know when you'll need one like I feel like I'm gonna wear one today I will probably wear the black one can't go wrong with black You also know what's funny is I just got my hair done, like really done, um, and it started raining. So I'm like, well, ponytail it is, which is my go-to anyway. So, whatever. All right, time for me to get some studying done. I got myself together. Feel okay. Um, so what I normally wear to clinicals, obviously, I wear. My Last thing. If anybody's wondering what that is, my son. I gave him a cake pop from Starbucks um, with chocolate one right before I was coming here uh, just because I had to grab something and we were I was stopping at a Starbucks and he put cake pop all over the car so it will get cleaned up today once I'm done with lab I mean clinical um, but that's why it's there right now <laughs> my car's normally not like that just letting you know full disclaimer um, but I am a mom of three and life happens so we wear Sorry. clinicals and labs are our um, school assigned uniforms. Um, they're obviously scrubs, um, but so obviously people can identify that we're nursing students. We have to wear white or black shoes. I decided to get white shoes. I got them from Walmart. I think they were like $10. I have pretty small feet, so I wear kid sizes. But I got them from Walmart, $10. Um, they're very inexpensive. I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on clinical shoes that are just going to get grody from bodily fluids or... I mean, you're walking through healthcare settings that normally you wouldn't walk through things like that, like, like I said, bodily fluids, and you're walking in and out of rooms that have God knows what, um, but, you know, you get the worst of the worst. Um, so I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on shoes that I'll probably end up throwing away if they got, like, super destroyed. I mean, I like them. They're comfortable. They look like forces. Let me show you. Sorry, my... It's raining, like I said. So you can't tell what kind of shoes they are unless you say, hey, let me lift up your pant leg so I can see what kind of tick you have on there. Oh, there's no tick because they're Walmart. But all right, let me get some studying done and hopefully you guys enjoy me bringing you along. We also have to wear like a hand watch. So then you're able to count respirations and heart rate and stuff like that um, using your minute hand. Um, or second hand. The one that counts the second. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness
I'm currently on my way to work, jamming out to some tunes, just so I can wake up and get more motivated since I've been up in class all day. Remember, guys, I work night shift, and it's from 11 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., so I need to be wide awake, bright-eyed, and bushy-tailed. Baby, could we have gone any faster? So done before the start. Chasing happily ever after. You know what I'm meant to be If you go to the end